I know exactly what it feels like to come from being dead broke to starting making money. I know exactly what it takes to get there. And in all honesty, it doesn't matter how much money you make investing in altcoins. It doesn't matter how much money you make fucking winning the lottery. What really matters is your mindset and how you're gonna attack things, your plan of attack. One of the things that helped me the most was Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius. And I subscribed to podcasts. I read tons of different books. I watched TED Talks. I watched you know, famous entrepreneurs come up stories and documentaries. And throughout the years, I took pieces from different ones of them. And it's not until recently that I even realized that most of the information was actually from Marcus Aurelius. Most of the information was thousands of years old. Bear in mind, it does go further down the line through history and the Romans, especially the Stoics, they were very well connected with the Egyptians, the Asian Africans. So a lot of the information was taught by them and passed down. But most of the information that we actually have, like to this day, is relayed by you know, books like Marcus Aurelius Meditations. This book isn't the best, the best copy in terms of the translation of it, but you get the gist. Marcus Aurelius decided decided to write this book. Like it wasn't even meant to happen. This book wasn't meant to be out. It was actually his journal and his journey through life. And it's crazy because you right now are probably in a situation where you're surrounded by deadbeat people. Maybe you haven't even got time to, like the energy to share with your family. You've probably realized a lot of the generational mistakes that have been happening throughout your life. And you're thinking, right, well, where do I, who do, who do I go? Where do I learn from? Do I learn from all these guys on YouTube? While well, this time, Marcus Aurelius had the same situation. You know, his mentors all died and he sat there, he's scratching his head and he's like, right, I've got no one else to chit chat to or he's going through all of these life situations so he had a journal wrote down all these like thoughts and the thought process that was going through his head and then when he died they found his journal and it's very very insightful like a lot of the quotes that we hear in the day-to-day -day society is from this man so it's very 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 impressive and if you want a more diluted but easy to follow and you don't really like reading you can read one page of the daily stoic every single day and you're gonna like you're gonna learn mad shit let me show you one of these pages right i'm gonna find one from marcus aurelius right because he's got different ones he's got ones from uh, marcus aurelius ones from seneca all types of different stoics but you know marcus aurelius is my guy so let me pick one of these it says how much more harmful are the consequences consequences of anger and grief than the circumstances that arouse them in us. Marcus Aurelius. So that sounds complicated, right? Probably went over your head. Or well, they actually break down the quote in the book. So it says, look, the first rule of holes goes to the adage. I don't even know what that means. Adage. See, I can't even read books. Adage is that if you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. I understand that. If you find yourself in a hole, stop digging, right? This might be the worst, worst voided piece of common sense wisdom in the world because what, what most of us do when something happens, something goes wrong or inflicted on us is make it worse. First, by getting angry or feeling aggravated and next, by flailing around before we have much in the way of a plan. So clearly, listen to that. You already know my reading is terrible. Yeah, I still read shit on the books. Why? Because when you read it back, it makes sense. What the guy's saying is, don't get angry when you're in a hole because it makes things worse. When you're trading and things ain't working out, don't get emotional because it makes things worse. When you're in a situation in business where you're a bit you know, upset or you're a bit angry, don't get upset and don't get angry because it only makes things worse, right? And as humans, we always make these mistakes. I certainly make these mistakes a lot. But having books like this that you can read daily and understanding these quotes helps you a shit ton. And when you start to deep it and think, hold on a sec, this guy was over a thousand years ago. So was over almost 2000 years ago now. And you see the wisdom that is being put out, you realize why you need to read these books, right? Let's read another one. I'll read it a bit better this time as well. Marcus Aurelius says this, if you find something very difficult to achieve yourself, don't imagine it impossible. For anything is possible and proper for another person can be achieved as easily by you. And then it translates it again. It says, there are two kinds of people in this world. The first looks at others who have accomplished things and thinks, why them? Why not me? And the other looks at people and thinks, if they can do it, so can I. You know how mad this is? This shit gasses me up, right? Because deep this, I used to be this person, right? I used to look at people that are successful and I used to think to them, what are they doing? that I'm not, right? And then when I used to try it and fail, I used to go, right, it doesn't work, it's a scam. <laughs> that sounds relatable let me know in the comments right i really used to be that person if in fact some of my friends to this day like some of the friends that i meet uh, in person and online i used to generally call them scammers like i've got like dms i'm not not proud of them you know but i've got dms where i'm dming them and i'm like yo bro you're a scammer you know and then a few years down the line when i've gone off on my path and i've realized that no they're not scammers 
it was me not actually doing the work, you know, and I was, I was self accountable. My opinions of them completely changed and we're now friends. But <laughs> and th that's why I don't get mad at people when they even call me a scammer, you know, because I don't really care. I understand that, you know, it's their own limiting beliefs and I feel sorry for them, honestly. I generally do feel sorry for them. So that's the crazy thing is that a thousand years ago, this man already figured it out. So now you're starting to see when you might hear quotes from me or when you might hear quotes from other famous people, these things kind of already figured out. So you can save yourself a lot of time by having to learn from loads of different people, by just going back in history and learning from one person or two people that already figured it out, right? And then you, then you modernize it. So let me give you an example, right? The thing that really shifted my mindset was when I started to look at other people and find just one thing good, one thing good about them that wasn't that I wasn't good at, and, and pull it from them, right? So let's let's say let's say I go out for a meal. You might these are things: jealousy, envy, greed, are all normal things, right? If you go out and you see somebody, you know, having a good time, and you're not having a good time, you're gonna get a little bit jealous, right? But instead of looking at them and getting jealous about why they're having a good time, I used to think to them like, what are they doing that? That, that allows them to have such a good time? What are they doing? What are their mannerisms? How are they acting? Who are the people that they are around? Is it because they have more money? Maybe I haven't got enough money. That's why I'm a little bit upset. These are the thought processes that you have to go through in your own head and you have to figure it out. You know, why, why are you in that jealousy, envy and greedy state? And by doing that, you fully flipped the script. You fully flipped it because you can now change your own reality and you can go, fuck this. You know, I'm gonna be active. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna go out, work hard and make more money. I might go out less and only go out once a month now because now I can really enjoy myself. You know, I might not go out every single weekend, miss a few times with the people I shouldn't even be hanging out with and then go out a few times a month and just fucking vibes, right? These are the things that you go through. It also happens in business. When you see somebody has got a nice car, I don't look at them and think, oh, I wouldn't do that with that car or ah, oh, you know? If I had all that money, I wouldn't have bought that. I look at him and I think, that's impressive. I wonder what he does. Let me go and have a chat with him. You know the amount of people I've met just by going and have a chat with him because I like that I generally show interest in their shit. For example, one of my best, well, one of my best friends a few years ago, uh, his name was Arian, right? He had a sick car. And at this time, I'm driving, I'm literally driving a Ford Focus, right? The Ford Focus has cracked window screen. I get pulled over, the car's gone because it's got clean crack through the window screen. My friend gave me the car, I bought it for 250 pounds, right? I'm driving this car, and at the time I'm doing delivery driving. I'm literally making 20 pounds a day. Delivery driving like this, I'm driving to my friend's house to go smoke a spliff because I had a stressful day. And I drive past this car, and it's a BMW i8, blue. And the guy that's driving it is super young. And instead of driving past and getting jealous, having hatred or anything like that, at this time I'm in the right mindset, okay? I've, I've, I've read, I didn't, at this time I wasn't even reading Marcus Aurelius. I was just watching Andy Fasella and I realized, hold on a minute, let me go and speak to him. I've literally drove past, I went to get out of my car and I thought, fuck this, I'm going back, right? Got back in my car, drove back around so I didn't look weird and he didn't see me. I came back around again, I was pulled past and I just said, you right, mate, nice car. And he was like, yo, thank you, bro, sick. Da -da -da. We had a little bit of a chit chat and then left it at that. And literally one week later, I'm walking down the street. I see the same car. He hops out of the car, we become friends. And I started working for him for free doing social media marketing. You see the difference, right? I could have been that guy to drive past and just hate on a man. What does that help me achieve? Nothing, right? But driving past and being a cool ass guy and just saying, did, 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 chit chatting, asking what he does, that's what allowed me to get my first free client. Mindset and these type of things is, is super, super important. Super, super important. And I could sit and talk about this all day, all day. Well, I just wanna leave you with that. I wanna leave you with that one thing to think about. And I'm gonna start doing this a lot more. I've got my setup now, I'm seeing how it's working. Every single time I get thoughts, or every single time I wanna meditate or have this chit chat with you guys, I'm gonna just make a sick ass video, right? And my boys are here now as well, so peace.